Welcome to Inexpert Film Advice. Hey. Where I give my inexpert advice on film and filmmaking. I got something good for you. Today I'm going to give you five simple ways to become a better writer. What we're talking about today is five guaranteed, and yes I said guaranteed, ways to become a better writer. I say guaranteed because I am so confident that you'll become a better writer if you follow these five steps. These are things that I did to improve my writing and that's how I know it works. So without further ado, first thing, write a short story every day, no more than a page. This is something I came up with one summer when I had absolutely nothing to do, but I knew I wanted to improve my writing. It's the old adage, practice makes perfect. Whether you're a screenwriter, a novelist, or a playwright, the most important thing for you to be able to do is write a story with a beginning, a middle, and an end. The stories don't have to be good or anything either. You just want to get in the habit of writing stories with the beginning, middle, and end until it becomes second nature to you. I did this for an entire summer and afterwards I didn't have to think so much about setting up plot points and moving a story along because it came so natural to me. When you're writing something so short, you have to be very precise with your storytelling. No fluff. It has to get to the point and then move on. And it doesn't really matter what you write about. Eventually I ran out of ideas and I started writing stories about a toothbrush or a sock. It just has to have a very clear beginning, middle, and end. If you really want to challenge yourself, write one sentence story. See if you can do that. Again, consistently practicing a beginning, middle, and end is the main goal. It doesn't really matter how long or short it is. Thing two, rewrite your favorite writer's writings. I mean this literally. Sit down with your favorite novel, your favorite screenplay, or your favorite play and literally retype what they wrote. I know what you're thinking, like how will this help? It's like sports. If you watch a great basketball player or football player long enough, you'll pick up on things that make them great and you'll subconsciously lock them into your memory and use them yourself when you're playing the sport. Now, if you've never played a sport, it's hard to believe, but trust me, it's true. That's why athletes study other athletes. As writers, we need to study other writers. Rewriting greatness will subconsciously let you pick up on the greatness. It'll help you with your sentence structure, your dialogue, your connecting story elements. Anything that you really have struggles with, you'll be able to see how they did it and you'll be able to use it as your own or rather in your own work. As with anything, but especially in art, you need to study greatness to become great yourself. You can't name me one great artist who didn't study the artist that came before them. If you try it, I promise you'll see the greatness leaking into your own work. Third thing. Practice dialogue. My favorite way to practice dialogue is to write a sentence on a piece of paper and then rewrite that sentence 10 times in 10 different ways. A lot of times as writers, we have a tendency to write clunky, cliche dialogue, but honestly, it's not what the character is saying, it's how they're saying it that matters. I'll give you an example. Today was hot. It was hot today. Man, today was crazy hot. It was so fucking hot today. Today was unnecessarily hot. Today was like Beyonce dancing in Florida with a winter coat on. Hot. I said the exact same thing. I got the exact same message across, but I said it in a bunch of different ways. The point is to figure out how your character would say it, but every character would say things differently and you need to be able to switch back and forth through the dialogue styles of each character. Trust me, it gets harder and harder the closer you get to number 10, which is why I stopped at six because I didn't feel like thinking of any more. Fourth thing, get feedback. This seems pretty obvious, but there are a lot of writers that don't like to get feedback. We're very sensitive, you know? but this is one of the most important things you need as a writer. It helps you understand what works and what doesn't work for your audience. It also helps you predict how audience members will react to your work before you even show them. There's really nothing else to add to that. Get as much feedback from as many people as possible, especially the people whose opinions you trust the most. And finally, the fifth thing is to write from the heart. No, I'm playing. Although you probably should do that, so. Write, write that down, yeah, write that down. No, the fifth thing is to write your first drafts as quickly as possible, like a stream of consciousness almost. A lot of times we spend way more time thinking than we need to, and then we overload our stories with too many ideas and too many plot points. Well, stop it. Once you have a story, just draft it out. It's much easier to edit something bad than come up with something good. And that's not to say that your story will be bad at the first draft, although it probably will. Writing your first draft and taking out what's bad and adding in things to make it better will be much easier in the long run. Trust me. Whoop! I know I said five things, but I'm gonna give you a bonus tip. The secret number six. Drafting. Drafting is super important. If you draft out things, you'll be able to see the story before you write it. If you want me to do a video on how I draft out my stories, let me know in the comment section below. But I wanna know what you think. What are some of the ways you've improved your writing? I really, really would love to hear it, so let me know down below in the comment section as well. 
Well, that's, uh, that's it for me today and my uh, inexpert advice. You can follow me here on social media. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. As always, I'm your host, Deontay Jenkins. Peace.